Hey guys, welcome back again. Today I'm gonna work on my truck. But first, I need to go run a few errands and pick up the supplies I need to work on my truck. You guys wanna come with me? All right, let's go. Wait, did you say no? You don't wanna go with me? Well, what if I like, uh, what if I like fast forward you guys and maybe, maybe play some music? Would that be all right? Okay, yeah, we can do that. All right, well, well, I'll fast forward you guys there. I'll play some music so y'all can enjoy that, and you don't have to, you don't have to ride along with me for very long. How's that sound? All right, guys, good. Well, let's head out then. We're here guys. How was the ride over? Was it nice? Did you enjoy the music? All right, so where are we? Well, we are at Lowe's. This is my first stop to see if I can find the materials I'm looking for to work on the truck today. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys in the truck because I need to charge this camera anyway. You guys are looking a little bit lower energy right now and I need to change that. So I'll be back in a few minutes and then we'll head on to the next stop. All right, so Lowe's didn't have what I was looking for, so I'm at my second stop now, which is Walmart. So I'm gonna run inside Walmart and see if they have it. Be back in a minute. Didn't I just tell you guys that? I just told you I'd be back in a minute. All right, well, I'll be back in a minute again. I'm gonna go run into Walmart. <laughs> have fun, guys. You're gonna sit in the truck. Yeah. All right, well, Walmart didn't have what I was looking for either. So I guess I'll head over to AutoZone and see if they have it maybe. Hopefully they do, because uh, I'm running out of options quickly. But I did pick something up while I was at Walmart. Yeah, look at that. That's going to be good. I'm going to enjoy that. And one more thing here. Jalapeno peanut m and Mmm. -hmm. Okay, so AutoZone had exactly what I was looking for. A little bit more than I really wanted to pay for it, but you know what, that's okay. Nobody else had it. And just on a side note, the AutoZone here in Owens Crossroads in Alabama, the gentleman here, very friendly, very helpful, helped me find exactly what I was looking for. And I really appreciate it when people are helpful. All right, so let's head back home since I've got what I need now. And uh, well, actually we're gonna head to the post office first. Got a couple of things I need to drop off. Then I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward you guys again. Is that all right? I know you don't really wanna ride. It's like 40 seconds for you guys, but it's like 20 minutes for me. So I'm gonna fast forward you guys there and I will see you in 40 seconds or so. All right. So let me show you what I'm doing today. Today, I'm gonna put some of this graphite peelable rubber coating from Rust-Oleum on my grill. But first, I'm gonna back up a little bit and show you how I got to this point right here. All right, so in order to remove this grill, you just have eight bolts to remove. You have one here, one there, 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 and right there. So we'll get started doing that. All right, so now the grill is only held in by some plastic clips right back here behind the grill. So you want a plastic trim tool, and you'll just want to kind of pat those out of there. 
and as you can see some of them are going to break when you pull it off of there not a huge deal because you still have these bolts in the front that are holding the grill on All right, so I'm gonna be using my tailgate as my workbench here. And for what I'm gonna be doing, I wanna remove this center section from the outer surround. Now you'll get to kind of follow along as I figure out how to do this. Looks like I'm gonna to have to remove all of these and take this brace off of here. So I should be able to just take this off here now. Yep, that easy. All right, so it appears I'm gonna have a series of like these plastic things here to pry back. And then I should be able to just lift this off of here. I'm just gonna fast forward through all of that for you guys. Look at this, sitting out in the sun, my iPhone got too hot. <laughs> All right, so I got all of them popped loose. Now I can pull this center section right off of here, and that's exactly what I was going for right there. I still have to pull the emblem off. Looks like that's probably gonna be a 10 millimeter. I wonder what this would look like on my truck without the center part of it. Nah, I don't know if I'm too fond of that or not. I mean, it's kind of cool, but then you just see everything exposed. If I did that, I don't wanna pull these supports off and I can't do that because then the grill just would flop around everywhere so okay so to pull the emblem off these are going to be a 10 millimeter now if you got strong enough hands you can probably just twist these off by hand they're kind of fragile so just be careful with them there's one all right so let's see if we can pop that emblem off of there now well great I'm going to take my trim tool and see if I can pry it from this side. Alright, there we go. Got it. So now before I can put any of this on, I need to clean this grill up really well so we make sure that it sticks to it. So for that, I've got a thing of glass cleaner here and a couple of rags that should do should do the trick. Okay, so I grabbed a couple of trash bags and I'm gonna prepare this area right here for paint, basically. All right, so now I've got this surface prepared here. I'm ready to dip that grill. Now, of course, you wanna shake the can up before you start using it. I would follow the instructions on the back of the can for how long you need to shake it up. This one says to shake it up for a good minute. And when we're applying this to hold it eight to 12 inches away from the thing that we are applying this stuff to. So we'll get started. Your first layer you're gonna put on here, you just want it to be a thin coat and you'll kind of work your way up from there. So I'm gonna start with just a thin coat on here. All 
Okay, so now I've got my first coat on there. You can't really tell much of a difference because it's a light coat and we're painting on a black surface anyway. You can see a little bit of like the uh, metallic flake that's in it on here. And I mean, I guess I can see a little bit of gray. I also have sunglasses on, so I, I really can't tell that well. Let me take these off real quick. Oh yeah, I can see a little bit of a difference with my sunglasses off. I don't know if you guys can on the camera or not. So um, now I'm going to put a few more coats on here. I'm going to let this dry for a second, then I'm going to put a few more coats on here. And I'm just going to fast forward you guys through all of that. There's no sense in really, you know, going full time watching me put all the coats on here. So we'll just fast, fast forward you through that. guys so I am done looks like it turned out pretty well I ended up using a whole entire can of this stuff on it but the more you use the better so that way you can peel it off later it peels a lot easier when you use more of it than it does when you use just a little bit you can see here I made one little mistake dropping the can right there you can see I made one little mistake right there now you probably won't be able to see that from far off and just a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a booger right here which you really can't see much from there so what do you guys think well let's get everything put back together i'll get it put back on the truck and then i'll show you what the final product looks like and just like that the grill's back in the truck what do you guys think i think it looks great i really like that color with the blue well you guys go ahead and comment down below what you think of it obviously installing the grill back in is just the reversal of taking it out so pretty easy to put back together didn't see a need to really go over putting it back together since it's just the opposite of taking it apart so yeah guys just let me know what you think of it i think it looks really really good and if you guys aren't following me on instagram and seeing all this stuff before i release it on youtube i'm gonna leave my name somewhere here on the screen i'm gonna leave it right say let's right here yeah right in this area and put my instagram name maybe between my hands here does that work Okay, go follow me on Instagram, and of course, like, subscribe, and the next video you see from me is going to be me doing the wheels in that same color. Thanks for watching, guys.